The cast aluminum rod shown is made of an alloy for which the ultimate tensile strength is 60 MPa and the ultimate compressive strength is 120 MPa. Using the Coulomb Moore criterion, determine the magnitude of the torque T for which failure should be expected. This is the first example for the brittle failure criteria main video. The link to that 10 minute video and other 2 minute examples are found in the description below. With the stress envelope for the Coulomb Moore criterion, we see that we first have to identify in which quadrant the principal stress state is found. For any element on the surface of the rod, we would see a normal stress caused by the axial load and a shearing stress tau caused by the torque T. The normal stress would be equal to 32.33 MPa and the shearing stress will be dependent on the torque T. The radius of the circle will be dependent on tau and so would the in-plane principal stresses. Since the center of the circle is lower than the radius of the circle for any non-zero value of tau, we know that one of the principal stresses will be positive and the other one will be negative, which means that on the stress envelope, our in-plane stress state will be either on quadrant 2 or quadrant 4. This means that we would use the expression for the Coulomb Moore criterion that we developed during the main video. Substituting the values for sigma 1 and sigma 3, which are the same as sigma A and sigma B, since sigma 2 is 0, and substituting the material properties, we can solve for the value of the radius and with it for the value of tau. Since the shearing stress tau depends on the torque T, we can solve for T to find the value of the torque for which this structure would fail. With that value of the radius that we find earlier, we can find the two in-plane principal stresses to confirm that the principal stress state location would be located exactly on the stress envelope boundary. This would only occur if the torque is in fact 196.9 newton meters. The links to the other 10 minute main videos from the Mechanics of Materials course, as well as the other 2 minute examples for the brittle failure theories, are found in the description below. So make sure you check those out. Thanks for watching.